All right, so now what we're going to do is I'll show you how to do an injection on the aqueous GPC. So almost everything is the same between the organic GPC or the chloroform and the aqueous GPC, except obviously the solvent and the type of polymer you can run. Uh, the software interface is almost the same, except uh, this one is newer, so there's maybe a couple things that are going to be different. Uh, the other difference is that the aqueous GPC does not have an auto-sampler, so it doesn't have the other sampler compartment, and it doesn't have uh, a UV detector, so no UV compartment. So only the pump, the column compartment, and the refractive index detector. But everything else is the same. You always like right-click whenever you want to change something, uh, or uh, and then change it in the method section. Everything has been turned on already, so we are at our right flow rate of one mole per minute, the right temperature, uh, the array detector has been purged and it's very stable. So now all we need to do is switch the recycling off, right click, switch recycling off, and now we're going to do the injection. So over here, so because we don't have another sampler, we need to do a manual injection. The way you do this is you have a 50 microliter syringe, you sample, again the sample has been filtered through a 0 0.2 micron filter, and the solution that we use for this sample is the exact same buffer solution as the one we're using for uh, the solvent. So you take some of the solvent out, dissolve your polymer in it, and filter it through the now, to do the injection, what you do is you're going to inject three times uh, 20 microliters of your polymer solution into the system. The way you do this is you take out about 30 microliters of the solution out, and you're going to place it into this injection. Now, to do this, the the uh, knob here has to be on the load position, meaning up. So like if you push, like it's all the way up. So then go in. And you inject 20 microliters or so. Be careful not to inject any bubble when you do this, otherwise your bubble is also going to get injected on the column, and that's obviously going to mess up your bed. That was injection number one. Two. On the third injection, you don't pull the syringe out. So you inject your liquid. And then instead of pulling the syringe out, what you do is you switch from the load to inject. So you push this down, all the way down until you can't pull it. And you see that all those green buttons uh, turned on. And on the GPC itself, it's showing uh, blue and it says run. And you have a green line meaning that the experiment started. Okay. okay, so when you're done with your injection, it's very important to clean your syringe. Uh, and the injection loop. So what you do is you go back on load, and you're going to rinse uh, the loading uh, station uh, three times at least with uh, some DIY water. 